Okay, so today using the follow me tool we're going to create a turret in SketchUp or basic cone shape. Uh, what I've done so far, I've drawn a circle on the ground, uh, typed in 5 feet as the radius, and that is the same diameter or radius as the top of this castle wall here. Okay, so this cone, this circle acts as the base to our cone that we're going to be placing on the four corners of the wall. So I'm going to click on the re uh, rectangle tool in the center of the circle, roll the mouse out to the edge, and leave it snap on the end point. I'm then going to bring it vertical, like so, slowly, and controlling it. If you were to draw your eyes to the dimensions bar on the bottom right of the screen, you would see that I can type in 5 feet because that's the length of the radius. That way I know for a fact that it, uh, one side of a rectangle is only as large as the radius of the circle. Comma, and you can do a height of 20 feet. So type in two zero apostrophe and you create this shape. Okay. What we're going to do from this is draw a diagonal line and erase the waist. We now have what looks like a sundial. We're going to use the follow me tool for the first time which is right here, follow me, basically it's going to follow you, you're going to click on the follow me tool, click on the surface you want to follow and allow it to follow around the circle, it's basically like a tool guide and there you have it, there is your cone or your turret for the castle, this is how it looks right now and what we need to do before we try to place it anywhere is we need to make it into a component. To make it into a component, you need to highlight it. To do that, I usually just click on the Select tool and draw a box around it. All the way up to Edit, Make Component. I've previously made one, as you can see, for the Tourette's on the castle, so you could call this one Tourette, or if it's the second one, Tourette. 2 and click create. This way when you hold on the move tool it moves as a solid piece.